Mr. Eggplant presents... Hey guys, Tyler here, and thank you for checking out this video. And I have another viewer requested video, so thank you to Fabio for leaving me uh, this feedback on wanting this video. Uh, so this is actually going to be just kind of going over what the single target rotation and priority would look like when you're in your AoE build in Mythic Plus, for example. Uh, so for example, you're not going to have Wailing Arrow, not going to have Readiness, at least not yet, uh, until 11.05, uh, which I have a video on. On that by the way if you guys want to check that out uh, but it should be popping up here on the screen for the rotation uh, so you're going to do something like this you're going to use your explosive shot and then you're going to go ahead and drop your volley and salvo macro and then you're going to go into your true shot from there you're going to go rapid fire aim shot aim shot and then you're going to go rapid fire again and you're going to send aim shot as much as possible and then when rapid fire comes off cooldown you use rapid fire and so on and so forth until you're out of that true shot window after that it's super super easy just don't let your uh your charges cap on the aim shot use rapid fire on cooldown and then also use all of those precise shot procs since we do get two of those every time we cast our aim shot you don't really worry much about those precise shots during the true shot window unfortunately uh, even with our tier set that we're going to get here, hopefully within the next month. Uh, but you want to make sure and use those when you're out of it because they, they do more damage. They cost less focus, uh, but they're also spending focus to whittle the remaining cooldown of your next true shot. Uh, so the, the best thing to do is just spend as much focus as possible. And the, the big thing about getting damage uh, single target wise on your Marksman Hunter is making sure you have all of your cooldowns up for a boss pull to take advantage of that careful aim um, bonus damage from the first 30% of a boss's health with those aim shots. If you have your true shot up, your true shot's gonna really kind of carry you to the middle part of the fight. And if the, the key is long enough that the, the boss is gonna have enough health, if you can get like a sweet spot of like a minute and 45 or a two minute fight, you'll be able to get a true shot off at the beginning where you're doing more damage and at the end, when you have your uh, bullseye stacks all the way up. So those are both very, very important and the key, honestly, to doing some good damage uh, in a single target or AOE pull, uh, you know, wh which whatever build you're using. So this is what the, the build is, and it will be found down in the description of the video, the string, if you guys would like to check that out. Still going to be playing that Sentinel Marksman Hunter, and then the, the choice nodes here in the Sentinel Tree are going to be Overwatch and Eyes Closed. It's going to be the best for AoE. And then the uh, the right side of the tree, it's pretty standard stuff. Uh, the lone exception is I am not running ammos right now, uh, just because when I get into Mythic Zeros is coming, we're probably not going to be pulling huge uh, packs. And if we do, we'll probably die because they're going to be tuned uh, like they were uh, in the uh, in the end of Dragonflight. And then obviously we're not using Kill Zone anymore since we don't have that tier set from Dragonflight. And I'm also not using um, Steady Focus. I know that Steady Focus is sometimes picked right now. I am not personally going to pick it, but I will in 11.05 when they make it so much easier to use for both AoE and for single target by only needing to cast your steady shot one time, which you do all the time. And then they're gonna be adding that improved steady shot to give you 20 focus whenever you cast it instead of 10. Huge, and it's gonna be game changing. Anyway, I've talked enough already. Let's go ahead and look at what an opener would look like. And I'm gonna go through two full true shots. So I'm gonna use my opener. I'm gonna, not gonna have any buff, outside buffs, anything like that. Uh, I have a 586 item level and my two trinkets are going to be the signet of the priory uh, up to 593 and the uh, sack brood uh, up to 593 as well and my weapon is a 593 recurved hull impaler so my my stat priorities right now are crit mastery then versatility haste i found that sweet spot for haste for me and my play style where uh, i can always get an aim shot aim or a rapid fire aim shot aim shot out during that six seconds vault six seconds of volley uh, which is very very important and I probably won't go below 8% 
uh, that's probably going to be my my cutoff which is approximately 5200 uh haste so that's what i'm going to have in my my build regardless if i'm doing aoe or uh, single target combat so let's go ahead and uh, give this a go and hopefully this will help you guys as you'll kind of see uh, what priority that i'm using i'm just making sure again i'm using my stuff on cooldown i'm not letting my aim shot uh, cap out on charges if rapid fire comes up free or not use it and then make sure you always use those precise shot procs and when you're using your uh, rapid fire keep in mind that that's when you're going to drop a lunar storm so you want to make sure that the boss is not going to move out of that if at all possible if the boss might move a little bit then delay the rapid fire just enough to where you can always get full value uh from from that lunar storm so let's go ahead and give it a go so again i'm going to do my hunter's mark and then i'm going to go ahead and use uh my explosive shot then i'm going to use my salvo volley macro and then i'm going to go right into true shot aim shot and then um excuse me uh true shot rapid fire aim shot aim shot rapid fire and then we'll be off to the races so let's go ahead and see what that looks like And now from here, I got my, my rapid fire. So I'm just gonna continue to send everything just like normal. I did use one of my precise shots during the um, the very end of my true shot. That was just something that I did. Uh, sometimes you'll have you'll have a, like a whole full second and a half of nothing to do. So then I just tend to just send something. It's technically not right, but I'm, I'm me. I, I'm human, I just send it anyway. And so here, all I'm doing is spending uh, my focus so I can uh, get another uh, true shot out. So I'm at 40 seconds right now currently. I wish I would have had a timer to see exactly how long this true shot um, cooldown was up for. But here again, I'm just sending everything. We don't really have to worry about kill zone damage or anything like that. So you can just send it as much as possible. If you're on a boss fight though, that might have, you know, maybe maybe some burn burn phases, that sort of thing, you might want to delay just a little bit for that. But most of the time, uh, I am just going to be getting ready to send everything here uh, as much as I can. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna steady shot just a little bit so I can uh, get that stuff. Uh, going and then here comes a true shot so then i'm going to go aim shot aim shot rapid fire aim shot aim shot and so on and so forth i am going to use my explosive shot here because it came off a cooldown during it uh in a, in the a perfect world i would have uh casted it before i did true shot but again some pretty good damage uh we are going to fall off a bit after a while here uh but it's just going to be boom bust boom bust and let me go ahead and feign here of course the the i always hate the that's the one thing i don't like about sentinel is that it stays on the um the dummy for quite some time so because it's actually still doing damage so i'm just going to continue to run over here do, 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 do. okay so let's go ahead and see what kind of damage we did there so we we're on it for a minute 57. so i got two Full true shots out in a minute 57, meaning basically uh, a whole quarter of that fight that we were just fighting, uh, we had, uh, actually it was more than a quarter, we had our true shot up for because true shot is 15 seconds, actually no, excuse me, uh, true shot is 18 seconds, uh, so we had it up for 36 seconds out of uh, a minute and 57 seconds. Uh, so uh, looking at our damage uh, was basically uh, aim shot and rapid fire, saw again some amazing lunar storm damage, that's going to be high damage because the target wouldn't be moving but if you can get in there and you can make sure that you are uh if you like your tank isn't going to move the the boss around or our boss is pretty stationary you can expect lunar storm to do some crazy damage uh unfortunately if it does get moved out of it uh it's going to do literally zero damage and that is your capstone ability for sentinel uh but if you can keep them in there some good damage and then also keep in mind since we are doing that aoe uh, 
uh, pull, uh, I wasn't getting any value out of a couple of those uh, talents that are like execute talents. So again, do keep that in mind. Uh, saw some uh, okay explosive shot damage is not really going to be amazing on, on single target, but uh, saw some good arcane shot damage. Uh, decent crit chance too. Uh, actually, some of them were a little bit higher. Um, than, than my my crit chance uh, but all in all pretty pretty decent again that was uh, without any embellishments uh, at a 586 item level we can only go up from here uh, so i hope that this helped you guys out uh, if it did please leave me some feedback down below let me know what kind of other videos you guys would like to see uh, here on my channel i will be live tomorrow uh, once raid officially opens i'll be um, uh, raiding live with my guild drexit over on zanger marsh i'm really looking forward to sharing that experience with you guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time Thank you.